Yo, yo, what's good, SSA? This is your boy Lowe's. Got our co host, JO, on the line as well. And we are having a special guest on today's call. This, this is actually one of our first interviews, I think, Jay. Um, well, we've interviewed Jody Meeks, uh, J Mom, yes, J Bomb, uh, professional baseball player, excuse me. Um, but this, this is an interview that we've wanted for a long time. Uh, our homeboy from, from Boston by way of Cali. Um, Ant, bro, uh, he is the host of the High Hooper podcast. So for y'all that don't know that podcast or haven't seen that podcast, definitely go check it out. But, hey, Ant, I'm going to let you have the floor, bro. Um, J.O., actually, hold on. J.O., uh, what, what you got to say about Ant, man? You know Ant a uh, long man. time. You know Ant pretty damn well, bro. Yeah, it's my boy. It's my boy, Ant Petrelli, man. He got a lot of nicknames. GPP, Gas Pack Petrelli. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is my boy, Gas bro. Uh, Trelli, we, nigga. Gas one of my smoke, teammates. Nigga. One of my teammates from uh, college. You know what I'm saying? So we got a lot of memories going back to college. We played together. You know what I'm saying? Has a lot of battles together. You know what I'm saying? Learn from each other. You know what I'm saying? So this is my boy, Ant. Um, I can't wait to hear uh, hear what he got to say. He's going to tell you all about his podcast, what he got coming up. Uh, he definitely got some big things in the works. So can't wait to hear about those. But also, Avid Hoops fan, one of them dudes that we let it go back and forth because we definitely. both got in line. So. This uh, is a guy I love talking to, man. Facts, man. One of the best hoop brains I know. But, hey, Ant, man, just got the Audi. God bless you, bro. Tell us what's going on in your life, man. Give, give us a little rundown on, <laughs> on the High Hooper podcast and, and tell us about yourself a little bit. Um, but before we get into that, J.O., go ahead, call it. You know how we get down here on SSM, man. Hey, y'all know how we get down, bro. Grab what y'all got and spark that shit up with spark your boys. Spark that shit up one time with your boys, man. But, hey, yes, sir, yes, sir. Ant, you got the floor, brother. T- tell us tell us what you got going on, man. Tell my us about guys, the podcast. My guys, my guys, what it do. Uh, what it do, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Los Angeles in the house, West Side. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, sir. And, and yes, I'm sir. With, I'm, I'm here with two of my guys, man. I appreciate y'all for having me. Uh, two of my teammates, uh, like Jalen said. Man, fuck both of y'all. We was talking about they was before this. We was talking about king of the court. Fuck both these niggas, man. Cause I be look on my on my podcast. I always started out and I always say the shoe fits. You can't guard me. Ah. I can't guard either of these niggas. No matter how uh, hard I try. J- now JL's a tough nigga to guard, but I'm hard to guard because I might not put that bitch on the floor. And I still yeah, you just gonna five, shoot seven. it in my face, bro. We <laughs> talked about it on my episode. And then look, the fun. It's funny because. On my first, my recruit visit out here, I played, I had the adrenaline going. I played the best defense I think I ever played in my life. Jalen just didn't miss. <laughs> Bruh, Atlanta shit. <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta shit. shit. Me. Look, <clears throat> look. It, it, it. It's one of them things where it's like, all right, I see this dude. He coming in, you know what I'm saying? He going to try to come at me, so, hey. I'm from Cleveland, so I love that type of shit. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, we welcome it. We welcome it. Yeah, yeah, man. Like Jalen said, uh, like Jalen said, man, I've learned a lot. Been to battle with these dudes a lot. Um, these dudes, I broke my foot my first year coming into ENC, mm-hmm. and these dudes was right by me, by my side the whole time. Um, Gang I shit. From, I went from I went from being a weak ass nigga to a fucking legend in the matter of a couple hours. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, quick story time for y'all. Jo, you you want it? You want to get it? You got it. Well, real quick, real quick. I just want to um, quickly say, you know what I'm saying? Me and Ant, we had a lot of battles, bro. We had a lot of battles. <laughs> like, a lot of like ridiculous. Um, and, and like we said, we went to college together. So we seen, we both seen each other at our best and at our worst. We seen each other. Good moments, bad moments, funny moments, high moments, crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? We didn't seen a lot. You know what I'm saying? We didn't been through a lot. So for we're sure. going to tell this quick story for y'all, bro. So I'm going to let Lowe's get into it. I'm going to jump in if I got to add some details. For sure, for sure. But, uh... <laughs> Man, so our, we we had this we had basketball conditioning right first thing shit we up at five thirty in the morning and we all trying to get our mind right because we've heard about this thing called the ladder now it's it's running up one to eleven and then back down eleven to one right Jay You're right yeah so it's just, it's down and back so like every if, every time you go down is one so down and back is two so if you you know what I'm saying we're doing one three five seven nine eleven but the, but, but come down. on man it's college sports so you know the shit time, and you don't so get you know no breaks time. yeah you, you no got breaks. times and you get no breaks niggas be this, walking this, back this, to the line slow as fuck this, this this really the initial like we gonna see who 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 got it who don't 
So and, and our and 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 our coach is an asshole at that. So he he really man, he was not, not playing no, no fucking fucks. games. Yeah, he don't get no fucks about the shit. He just he like, the coolest like, asshole go. you ever go meet. Cool cool Facts. asshole though. Cool asshole. Most Facts. assholes be cool though. <laughs> but cool asshole though. Cool asshole. This nigga will rip you one in the locker room at halftime. But then when you walking out, he gonna be like, all right, now I need you to go out there and give me twenty real quick. Yeah 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 yeah. He keep it a stack with you. He keep it a stack with you. But nah, so. We running this ladder, and I'm by by far like I, I'm not the fastest nigga, bro. But I'm right next to Ant, so Ant all the way on the on the sideline. I'm right next to Ant. So first, we first hit the ladder. Boom. Was it, was it the first time or or, the, or on a three? So so we get up one. Boom. We back. We going back. We going back to the baseline now. We about to hit the three now. We about one to three to five to seven to nine eleven. So we on the three. This nigga Ant like midway through the three and ah. I was like, what the fuck, man? And now it's six in the morning. This is a team thing, nigga. So if Ant don't get his shit, like we was dependent on Ant to get damn near all all yeah, right? like Yeah, because we was carrying for the niggas that yeah, couldn't. Yeah. You feel me? Like niggas like me. So the 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 thing was Nah, you capping, bro. Los is trying to he trying Los to you know, play. Los used to get every single one except yeah, the Los eleven. Los is one of the most he's the one of the most in shape niggas I ever met. And nigga just, just kept natural. it. Steady pace the whole time. Yeah, he just he just runs. Steady he's pace, right. He's not nigga. fast, but he he can run for a long time. That's why I he's hard to I guard. Can, I can't. Can. But back to my nigga. Hey, I can't appreciate the love, my nigga. <laughs> back to my nigga, Ant man. So nigga start screaming. Niggas like, oh fuck, Ant, you a hoe. You this, you that. I can't believe you sold out like that. That nigga Ant the bitch. We was all Ant line. And niggas know. Let, let me let me let me prep it. When it's niggas talking like seven. that, you feel me? So. Nigga still got a seven on this chip, but midway through, this nigga breaks his foot. Now, nobody knows this nigga's foot's broken, probably except Ant. But <laughs> only you know, I knew though. I yeah, knew you, it was You knew broken. your shit was fucked. You knew your shit was fucked up. So this nigga proceeds to score a seven on the fucking ladder, bro. And mind you, that is better than 60% of niggas there. I was about to say, he it's a lot of dudes on the on team that's not, that was not giving us seven. Like, it's a lot of dudes that we were like, that, that ran the whole time that didn't get us a seven. So. And, all, and I ain't gonna lie, Los is, Los, is, Los is telling you the truth, bro. Like, when, when we all running this ladder, bro, like, it's a mental thing more than anything. So we all, all running, we all locked in. You feel me? We you all cheering each in. other on this shit? Like- yeah. <laughs> and look, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see a lot of niggas, like, come up with creative ways to quit the ladder. And Ant is over here, like, talking about he hurt. I'm like, bruh, we don't need this right now, bro. We need you. <laughs> not, from you not from a nigga that was scoring, like, a 10 on it before yeah, in the warm-ups. Bro, you know what I'm we saying? We need you to run, bro. So then, look, so then we, we all, like Lo said, and if you if you played on a team, bro, you know how niggas get in, in, in live action with all the, you know, juices flowing. We sitting there like, come on, bro, don't be a bitch, man. Da, da, no, no, no holes bar, no filter, nigga. Bro, nigga comes back on crutches talking about I broke my foot. We sitting there like, what the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> and you got a seven, nigga? It went totally from ant, nigga. You a, you, a, you, you a fluke, nigga. It went, it went from ant, nigga. That shit was all capped to, and you might be that nigga, man. You finished a seven <laughs> with a broken foot. You might be that nigga guy. Like, hey, so, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I love to tell that story, bro, because I feel like that is the, that, that's the biggest testament to ant's character right there, bro. Like, he is the king, like, of never gets tired, nigga. He, he, he embraced that Kevin Gates motto, took it, and lived by it, bro. And I, and I believe that, that that's, that's your character right there, bro. And, 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 and tell, tell us what was real, going through your mind, bro. That, that shit broke. What's, what's going through your mind, bro? So I, I had a stress fracture the year before in a, a men's mm. league. I felt mm. like a little tiny, <clears throat> a little tiny crack, right? But it wasn't nothing bad. It was just like it would like I wouldn't play for three weeks and it would heal up a little bit and then a small crack. So like bone just kept getting like the doctor told me when I was like there after that, like he was like, you see this area? It kept breaking a little bit and kept breaking a little bit and healing and breaking, healing and breaking. I was like, oh, OK. But so we there, bro. And mind you, oh, OK. <laughs> so look, right. So I'm like, we, yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> You know, nigga, you guys know I came to ENC as my last, like, it was my last ch- shot to play basketball again. So I had already sat out a at the year. college level, at the, at, the college, yeah. at the NCAA college level. At the NCAA. So it's like, I'm like, I'm grinding, like, I, and I agreed to come be this nigga, the, the runner up conference player of the year. I agreed to come be that nigga's backup. I had no yeah. plans of getting 40 minutes a game, I had plans of getting 13. 
minutes a game if I'm lucky and being the best backup that I could be, right? So and hold on, I want to quickly say again, a testament to your character, bro, because a lot of niggas couldn't step into that position with that mentality. Keep going. No, bro. I, I had a I had a scholar to uh, Elms College. Little mm -hmm. I know Elms. Game. Yeah, nigga, they're ass. Three and twenty every year. I didn't want to go be the starting point guard for an ass team, bro. Nigga wanted to compete. I'm not that nice to change them around. <laughs> like, I, I feel you. I feel we would have been <laughs> look. We might have been four and twenty, nigga. I might have just brought a. I might have brought the joint and one more win. <laughs> hey, <for that. laughs> bro. It's a lot of people don't get this because they're like it's a different level level of like competitiveness that you have to have, but like. The true grace, the people that really want to be great at anything, they hate losing more than they love to hate win. It. Absolutely and, hate it. And, and that's one thing I can say about myself, say about you, is that I, we just hate to lose. Like, when you lose, like, that changes everything. Like, winning it is a great joy, but winning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like, winning, winning is a great winning. joy, but, but, but losing is Losing the worst is a greater ever. defeat. Yeah, like, when defeat. you lose, it, like, really fucks you up. Defeated. That's the word that every time. Defeated. defeated. No matter how dub you go, you're still defeated. Because you know, you know, you know, you gave it everything mentally and physically <laughs> that you possibly could, and you just you always think about what more could, I could have done. So nah, bro, that that's a that's a hundred for sure. Yeah, that's nah, a hundred for a sure, fact, Jalen. Um, I appreciate yeah. you for saying that about me too, as well. Because like, yeah, you niggas is just like that too. We've been in that locker room, fucking de feeling defeated. For the last two years, once once I broke my foot, and that's all mm -hmm. I could do was shoot. Now when I came back. Playing against Jalen, it was like, I got a jumper now. I could kind of do some of the stuff Jalen can do. So when Aller put me in, we started running the same type of shit because I had that dog in me my junior year. Like, mm -hmm. I've always been a dog, but it's a different dog when you can just go get a bucket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and, man, like Jalen said, we shared so many memories, man. Like, me no, on the facts, bench. bro doing something, him looking at us and us getting fucking hyped or me on the court. I, I just like couldn't remember like multiple times like where I'm on the court and Jalen's my biggest hype man. Yeah. And I yeah. took that into my senior year for Noah, mm -hmm. for Noah Chaney. When he came in as a freshman, he was my backup. I'm like, I got to be this biggest hype, nigga's biggest hype man. I got to shit on him in practice. Like I got shitted on by Jalen in practice, but I got to get him – I got to be his biggest hype man, too. No, nah, right? facts. Facts. Um, hey, but, and, and what I used to tell you, hey, what I used to tell you, Ant, hey, in the game, man. cook him, Ant, kill cook him. Cook that Ant. nigga, hey. <laughs> I got him the game <laughs> against him. Hey. get to walking the nigga down. <laughs> hey, that, hey, look, no bullshit, bro. First, first time I get in the game against Endicott, bro. I ain't never played these niggas. It's at their house. I got in the game during a free throw or something, right? <clears throat> Jalen's on the court. I don't know their fans. Don't they don't know me? Nothing, cause it's my first time ever. I'm coming off injury. I get the ball out of the, <laughs> out, out of the catch or something. I'm bringing the ball up. I'm looking at Aller, and in the film you can see me look back at Aller like four times. Like what play? I right, I right, bet. I get to the over the half court. All I hear is Jalen pointing at who's guarding me. Cook him, man. Oh, is this, Kill a, is this him, a legendary woman? The nigga fell back. Yeah. Yep. Kill yeah. him. Kill him. And you see it on the film. Jalen pointing and he's yelling. Kill him. I know their bench is like, the fuck what the this fuck? ball nigga? This nigga ain't about – he's not like that. He's not like that. I came down and just – I threw it out, threw it out, and gave him just a simple left to right, bro, and he crumbled. That, you gave him the yeah. Iverson to Jordan. Yep, crumbled Look, and pulled up. Bro, so let me tell, let me tell you real quick. So – Bro, we we in the game, bro. And for some reason, I don't know why. I guess it was because they just didn't know who this nigga was. They put a center. They had their like a big nigga on this nigga, yep. bro. We're running up the court. I'm sitting there looking. Like I keep looking back. I was like, are they gonna switch that or are they gonna keep doing that? And he just he nigga he, the, the center ran. He turned around and he he put his hand. That out. was like, his right, man. It was his man. Yeah, like I'm finna I'm finna stick D now. So I'm like <laughs> that that's just not. Like, I'm like bro, that's not gonna work. What are we doing here? So Ant keeps looking like calling the play, bro. I'm like, bro, this nigga asked for a play one more goddamn time. <laughs> I'm like, eh, cook him, bro. <laughs> like, that's the play. Kill him. <laughs> that is our play right now. Yep. This is a mismatch. Kill him, bro. Kill him. That's, that's one of the things that I liked about playing with Aller is, like, he yeah. don't care about shit but getting the basket. Like, <laughs> yeah, he got, yeah, he got his sets and he got his he, he yeah. got his, his, his motion and his system. But, but if you can get day, busy. Get busy. Bro, yeah. And I've Most said of the it. time, 
Most of the time, our plays are are to get an ISO. Like, we're trying to get in the situation to get an ISO. It's not even like a real play. It's just we're going to get you here in this spot that you make a play. And that's that's what it was. I talk about that all the time on my pod. You know, when you chop shit with people and they talk, they ask you, what was your college life like? And I like, I talk to them about it. I always say my junior year, I played for a coach who like believed in your ability. My senior year, like shout out to y'all boys, man. Cause y'all both came to multiple games in my, my senior year. And we both shared some moments, uh, my senior year. Um, I know at Daniel Webster, I had a, a little moment with the crowd. We still we got we lost. We I ended up getting cooked after that moment. Um I'll talk about that on my I remember uh, that shit now. I'll actually you talk had about niggas. That. You had the boy, that shit felt like State Farm Arena in that hey, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> niggas was mad at me, bro. Like we was on the comeback and I'm gonna talk about that torch story with Eric today on the pod because I'm recording with Eric. Um okay. I hit a three to the student section, sit right next to fucking Los and Eric. I was like, well, shit, my boys is right there. You know what I'm saying? We coming back. Let me get this bitch hyped. I, I just hit two in a row. I turn around on, I'm like, fuck all y'all pussy ass niggas or hey, something you, like you that. Know, nigga, nigga, you stood on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, the you nigga, I was, guard- hey, hey, the nigga I was guarding ended up having like four tray balls on me in the second half. So your senior year, bro. I, I, I watched every game that year, whether I was in person or online. Yeah. I watched every single game that year. Yeah, I played with a lot of passion, a lot of heart. Man, I, I know I know it wasn't the, the, the outcome you had wanted, but give me what you took away that senior year because now, now you headed in the, in the life. And so what did, what did you take away with you that senior year? Did you, did you, did you just sit back and, like, realize how far you had come, like, what, what, what uh, was this yeah. moment to you at the end of your senior year when, yeah. you, when you put them shoes off for the last time, took them socks yeah. off, and you looking at your shorts, and it's the last time you're going to put them bitches on? T- tell Man. me what that moment was like. Um, like, you know how they say when you, like, die, right? Like, you see your whole life. Like, they say when that DMT hits your brain, you see everything that just happened in your life. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it was like that with Hoop, man. Like, I, I took my shorts off, bro, and I just remember sitting there. Looking at my jersey, looking at my shoes, bro. I, I was the last person out the locker room. Um, Believe that. But we were away. And they kind of had to hurry me up, you know what I'm saying? So I stayed in the ENC locker room also when we got back. Um, I couldn't believe it, bro. And, like, I, you, I know you said it wasn't the outcome that I expected. It was, like... Besides myself knowing that I was going to do some damage, you know what I'm saying, um, and our inner circle, our inner circle of ENC, and I mean our inner inner circle, because whether or not, like, I'm, they're my homies and I love them, and I speak the truth, I just know it is what it is. The older heads definitely didn't think me and Chris were going to bring us as far as we did. They didn't. They fact. hit me up at, all the time and said they love to see what we're doing. Like, and that, like, it, it wasn't like a, like, <clears throat> when Jalen came to watch me, my, watch us, my senior year, we were playing Wentworth, and I had my career high, my college career high, NCAA career high. Season what was that, high, 20, 23, 24? 23, yep, 23, yep, 23. I remember watching that game. And there was a play at the end. I had already just hit, like, two middies to put us up by like four or something. And there was a play. I went baseline, did a little scoop layup. Boom. They called timeout. They're down by like five now or something. But I walk, Jalen's walking down the stairs. There's <laughs> alumni in the crowd. There's alumni in the crowd that are like hyped, you know, but I've watched the film. They're sitting down. They're just clapping a little bit. Jarman standing my big that I didn't get to play with. He's one piece that I think my, our junior year, we win. Um, we win the chip. Uh, but he's standing up hype for me because he, you know what I'm saying, that's the homie we practiced together at least so that it was my teammate, just like Los is my teammate, was my teammate. Um, Jalen's walking down the stairs, screaming, ah, walk, damn near walking on the court. And I'm walking from half court because I'm hyped, walking towards Jalen, screaming. And I'm like, this my shit now. 
this my shit now. You know what I'm saying? Jalen's hyped with me. Like, yeah, <laughs> nigga. That shit. Yeah, nigga, I passed the torch. Like, you, it's you and Chris's shit, right? Yo, this shit is wild. And the like, movie shit. This bro, movie yeah, shit. bro. And like, Disney movie shit. That's the difference. That's why I say my our inner, inner circle. Like, the ones yeah. who actually knew how good me and Chris were. Yeah. <clears throat> Getting to where I got, man, senior year, with the team we had, like I said, we were expected to be eight seed, nine seed, not even yeah. really make it. The playoffs, yep. Yeah, and we got to the semis. And the game would have been a lot different had Dave not rolled his ankle in warm-ups. Look at Dave, bro. Dave's bro. man ended up hitting like four or five threes in a row, something he, for the first time he did all, all career damn near in a game. I'm not going to lie. My, my senior year, Dave got cooked in that championship game too. Shout out my boy Dave, though. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> shout, out, shout out my boy Dave. Shout out, he, he, shout out boy he Dave. Ended, he, ended, he ended both of our careers. <laughs> Man. This, I was confident that game. I came out, I came out ready. Um, mm-hmm. But I like, I didn't feel defeated. It was the first time in my life in a game I didn't feel defeated. That's real. I felt and accomplished. That, and that, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling, bro. The, yeah, the man. fact that I could sleep at night, it might hurt. But at the end of the day, yeah, I, I, I can sleep at night. I can hang my hat on my career, on this game. Like everybody that, know, I, that's I, exactly I put my, what I put my happened. Heart to this shit. I put my yeah, heart man, to this shit. that's that's exactly what happened. I think, I think, uh, I think I have a love for basketball that a lot of people don't have. Mm-hmm. A lot of hoopers don't have. And uh, when you're young and you say that to people, they're like, "No, I love basketball just as much as you." Blah blah. blah. And it's like, it's all argumentative. But yeah, like, like when you, you get you, older, bro, it's a feeling. Like you can feel it when you you can feel when a nigga loves basketball the way you love basketball. A lot, like yeah. you said, a lot of people love basketball, but like it's a different like it's a it's a whole it's, nother it's level. Like yeah, it's, it's my it's life. Different. It was my life, man. Like I never saw myself doing anything else. Like even now, mm-hmm. like work is work. I treat my adult league games, especially the one on Sunday that like Sundays that has like a website game of the week is on it like they they fucking yeah. have it with commentators and a box score and all that see like, that shit hard i treat that like it's a fucking game like i eat really good lunch like <laughs> make sure i'm good to go i show up in my fucking an hour early in my fucking whatever suit it is whether it's all nike down all enc down i show up coming fucking, in ready i'm coming in ready with the headphones in bro and i sit there and just watch the game before for an hour nigga and i treat it like it's a real fucking game and i go out there and it is like it it is what it is for me because like like i i just love that shit so much so nah bro that's that's... that night i was like man you did it bro you did it it, you did it you did a lot you got suspended you went all the way to press school (laughs) we didn't even talk about that i was just about to say bro it's it's a blessing that that the niggas made it out of ENC. Like a lot of people, like we're talking about ENC for the people that don't know ENC or anything about it. Like it's a super small and Christian school, and so basically anything you do, everybody's gonna know about it's it. On the That's microscope. One thing. It's under the Second microscope. Second of all, it's just such a small school that like, like is it like nigga? We 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 smoke. You know what I'm saying? We keep it a bug. We smoke. So smoking at a small school like that bro like we've been you know very close to, to the, to the line of tugging the line bro yeah and and my boy and like shout, shout out my boy and it's one of them dudes that he's he's persevered through a lot just in a lot of different situations but it's been a couple of times like where Ant could have got kicked off the team and he fought through that shit stayed there so it's a blessing that we both made it through bro i remember uh i forgot i want to say it might have been my junior year so your sophomore year the year you was hurt at the very end of the year, bro, I remember this shit. Actually, I'm mean, going to tell this quick story. So me and you went out. We smoke a blunt, right? We run into Chris before we uh, – before we. <laughs> this is just some dumb young nigga shit. You know, we were young, just doing whatever. Yep, so we yep. run into Chris. Run, run into Chris right before we about to smoke. He like, yo, save me a little bit. But you know Chris. Chris just be talking. But I don't know why I believed him for some reason. I'm like, bro, we got <laughs> – so we smoke. Me and Ann go smoke. I'm like, bro, we got to save a little bit for Chris. So – we say this little blunt. I put it in this, like, baggie, and I think I put it in my sock or some shit, right? Get back to uh, Ant's room. So we all – it was, like, the last day of school. Everybody had to be off campus. But Ant was staying for the summer, so he was allowed to be in his room or whatever, right? So I'm like, bro, I'm going to just move my shit to your room because my flight is tomorrow, so I'm going to stay in your room tonight. He's like, bet. So I moved my shit to his room, da, da, da. We just chilling. Ant's taking a shower. 
freaking uh all of a sudden some somebody's knocking on the door i'm I'm not knowing who it is i open the door it's the freaking the uh like ra lady and she's at the door and she's just like hey i'm doing this room check everybody's supposed to be out so me i don't know what's really going on i'm sitting there looking i'm like well Ant told me he got okay to be uh, in this room, you know, for like another week or something because he's staying yeah. over the summer. So she's like, oh, well, I don't know nothing about that. And while she's doing that, she's like, and it smells like weed in here. And so it like, smells like weed. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there like, I no, like I, bro, I'm like, I hit her with this stupid look like, huh? <laughs> like, what you mean? <laughs> she's like, I think it smells like weed. I'm going to have to do a room check. I said, you don't got to do that. <laughs> she said, you don't got to yes, do I, that. <laughs> I'm in the She's shower like, the whole time, bro. I have no idea this. Hold on. Ant has, Ant has no idea. This is no, like, I was more like this, no bro. idea. Ant has no idea this Pooh is going it. on. He's in, bro, he's in the shower just vibing out. I'm sitting there, like, trying to fucking figure out what the fuck is going on. So I know I have this blunt, and I think I tucked it in my bag. So I go to my bag real quick, grab it, put it back in my sock, and Ant's in the shower. So she's like, yeah, we got to do a room check. You got to get him out the shower. So I knock on the bathroom door. I'm like, Ant. Eh. I'm like, Amber, you got to get out the shower, bro. They doing a room check. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, bro, he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, Ant, bro, I'm dead ass. Confused, like, you got to get out bro. the shower. I'm like, you got to get out, bro. They got to do a room check. He's like, he's like, quit playing. I'm like, I'm dead ass. She's at the door. She's like, yeah, Ant, you got to come out. And I want to so tell everybody, Ant got the most obvious high face. Like, yeah, there's no, no, like, you know Ant's smacked. He goes Every from... Time. He goes from a he goes from a, a, a mixed kid to a fucking Asian. <laughs> when he, when he fucking gets yeah, back, you can see bro. his eyes right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. Ant gets high. He looks look, when when Ant gets high, he's high, bro. So, bro, so this is happening. Ant's in the shower. So look, and I be high all blunt. day, damn near. Bro, I had this blunt in my sock. Back. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this blunt. I like, bro, I can't get caught. <laughs> so, I, Ant's in the bathroom. I'm like, yo, I gotta. I'm like, yo, okay, I gotta use the bathroom. He he over there getting geek. I'm like, bro. I got to use the bathroom. Can I go use the bathroom uh, over there real quick? So she's like, yeah. So she lets me go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom across the hall in the fucking, like, main, like, it's like a sitting area or some shit. I go in the bathroom, flush the blunt, come back in. I'm like, all right, y'all can do the room check now. <laughs> Bro, they go through all our shit. This nigga, Marion or Mason, who is our fucking dean of students, comes. He's, like, Marianne doing the room check, too. Bro. They he was go so like, he's like, God damn it, Aunt. How many times am I going to deal with you, bro? <laughs> bro, they go in my bag. I had one of them Snoop Dogg G pants. I, I forgot I even had that shit. He finds it. He's looking at me like, what is this, my nigga? And I'm like, bro, I made up some uh, stupid story. I told him I was about to sell it to one of my homies back home. Yep. And he was like, he was like, you don't got to do that. I'll give you the money for it. I said, Marion, I'm not taking your money. Keep that. <laughs> he just took it. And we got away. <laughs> Oh my god! Like, right, what ended up being a wild card for you, as far as a college career goes, ended up being obviously super successful, bro. You accomplished your dreams. Yeah. You you made it from a place that most niggas don't make it out of mentally, physically. Um, niggas was homeless. Niggas don't know that about you, and there's a lot to know yeah. about you. But um, you 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 made it, bro. You accomplished your your mission, your goals, nigga. And and now and now in this new realm of life, bro, you 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 still advancing and progressing bro and it, it, it's a it's a blessing to watch from from an outsider looking in and seeing how far you come bro knowing your story so so definitely shout out to you my nigga you talking about your, you talking about your okay. podcast so hi hooper pod um <clears throat> give us that follow on ig we're about 17 we're gonna, we gonna put the we're gonna put the tag up there too we're gonna put his ig yeah. up there too um episode 18 coming out or I think 18 already dropped, <clears throat> and we're at 19. I don't know. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm so happy you stay consistent with it. So many people, you know, just do it, you know, and, 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 yeah, and it ends. And, that, and that's how you know you really don't got a passion for, for it or, yeah, or don't man. really enjoy it. So I'm glad, I'm glad you stick, stuck with it, bro. Yeah, bro, I, I really do. Um, song of the Week is always somebody that I know, like – somebody that i know makes music that's dope too yep try to get try to get them some exposure and have some people listen to some shit and it's a whole different bu bunch of different genres like it's Definitely. rap there's hip-hop there's r&b on it sometimes like um it's just some soul some yeah, some West yeah Coast some shit, soul some East Coast De shit. des gold gave us some soul one time um mm -hmm. and then i always have uh an episode i always have like a guest episode two guests episode like the whole time as a co-host so good, good conversations happening on there for sure 
Yeah, man. I, I love getting people's stories out there. Um, it's cool. I, I like to, you know, ask people how they got to where they're at type shit, what, what they doing after sports. Usually it's someone sports related, usually. Um, with the exception of a few episodes. Yeah, that. yeah. I, 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 <laughs> athletes got the best best uh, journey stories, bro, because yeah. it's not like it, it, it's a level of grind that goes into it, and there's so much that goes into that grind. Exactly, bro. And uh, it's, it's just fun, man. Like, almost everybody that's on it, I know personally, like, it's, it's good times. I've gotten Los on there. Uh, Definitely. Been in the talk about doing this collab for a while. Um, Facts, man. You two on there. I'm recording with Eric today for the next episode um all of our teammates that's gonna that's gonna be a good one i'm, I'm excited for that one i'm excited two of for your guys sure. best friends two of y'all's best friends yeah. um my, and my then about to have a baby yeah congrats Same to him way. and uh i think it's i'm doing i think it's right that i have like you guys the episode after him for That'd be dope, my bro. pod yeah, for yeah. Sure. um i like to i like to kind of string people into like maybe relating to the net last episode or something like I like to try to do stuff like that, but it's a good conversation, man. And no, definitely. the video's coming soon. Uh, my dad said he wanted to do, he wanted to be the first person on the video. And Okay. That's real. You got to have OG yeah, on that joint. He promised, he made me promise saying, when you do the video, promise me I'm the first one for the video episode. And I was like, cool. And that was back at episode nine. So episode 10 was the milestone episode. I like to do milestone episodes. Yeah, one, for sure. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta you gotta set those goals. Yeah. Yeah, five, ten, twenty-five, fifty, hundred. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not something crazy, like the milestones. And yeah. episode ten happened, and we all it was like his two, like my two best friends from back home, his two other sons type shit. And this nigga had to do something. He was driving. He couldn't even get on, so we couldn't do it. So now we had to postpone the first video episode for the next milestone which is 25 we're like five episodes away and that's when the video part will come out okay uh, okay that's on the way and then we're going to be introducing soon hopefully by the end of the summer the high hooper experience um we're already a couple tell us about it tell us about that tell us about that yeah we're already in a couple games through of the leagues i'm in um so I might even just wait till these leagues are over and do it on the next, the next round of them. Uh, the high Hooper experience is going to be cool, man. It's going to be filmed. I'm going to have multiple angles of my games, my adult league games. Sure. Uh, a 29 year old washed ass nigga who's still giving dudes fucking problems in the adult work. leagues. The Young work. kids coming fresh out of college or in college thinking they real good still. And I'm like D three point guard, just giving them the, fucking work all games nah, still facts facts facts, uh, facts, facts bro. i'll be I'm mic'd up for it yeah i'll be mic'd up for it uh and yeah man it's just gonna be cool it's gonna be called the high hooper experience let you see what goes on like and like i said bro on those sunday games i'll take you a little deeper on the yeah so you gotta give it you gotta give us a day in the life type yeah shit. a day in the life of what the high hooper does i think a lot of dudes gonna be mad like if i give them the bucket buckets all game and then they watch the episode and they just yeah you know, you know niggas gonna be they, salty they see how many joints i done smoked before the game they gonna be like damn this was sitting at the crib just getting faded on the way to the game was getting faded like he in the parking lot getting faded, faded. And he, he just came in and gave us 30 um like i I'm said though, man, shit, i'm that's 29 gonna, cool. so i'll be mic'd up man and it's going to be a target on my back because of it whenever people see the camera. Um, it is what it is. Facts, bro. I, I that, that's, that's what come with it. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, if I get cooked all game and have a bad game, y'all going to – that game's going I up. Hope, I, I hope we don't see that from guys. No, back. yeah, facts, bro. But, yeah, it's going to be that's, fun, bro. Hey, yeah, it's sure. Fun. Yeah. Speaking on mindset, bro, speaking on mindset, I want to talk a little bit about – we just went through a, a worldwide pandemic, you know, and I, I just want to talk a little bit about – how that affected you uh, mentally, physically, spiritually? Like, what did that do for you, good or bad? Because I know the pandemic actually was good for a lot of folks. Yeah, so the pandemic was actually great for me. Um, it got my mind right. Um, it let me realize what I thought, or it made me actually proceed to do what I thought was right. So, like, the pandemic happened, right, and we can't go to work. So it's like, true. 
and and like you had to like live your life like you had to do what you can around the house right so i mean i still do it i i'm a, I, I like calisthenics you know what i'm saying like yep I, I i i do that i do band work i got the strength of jay will be on the band work yeah i got the band work um I, that's a hooper thing you know what i'm saying we we don't we don't care too much about weight weight we want our muscles to be like stamina related to be able to like yep. do a certain strength for all game um so i i was doing that playing a lot of call of duty right <laughs> i think all of us were um but i had to go back early like for some reason in mass they're like marshall's needs to open up people need to hey, it's time to get shit cracking and i'm like pandemic. we were Fuck still in a pandemic right we we're still in a pandemic like Fuck we had all drug. these procedures and shit that we had to follow and i'm like jesus christ what the fuck like, why am i even back here number one i thought they handled it horribly bringing us back like they texted us when they wednesday night like yo be in at tomorrow morning at eight o'clock what kind of fucking like, notice what? Is that? what we got to get I the store back, back like no <laughs> i was like whoa i would have been like i ain't get it yeah well i'm a manager i was a no, not, i shit. am yeah, i was got, a manager you definitely got that text then. <laughs> yeah that's the thing like i got the text like yo we have to open the store back up tomorrow like we weren't on furlough we were getting paid the whole pandemic still you know what i'm saying hey, that, that's so, that's nice though a lot of niggas wasn't yeah, getting, a lot of niggas wasn't. wasn't so that was cool but what i realized bro when i went back to that schedule that i had that shitty schedule and whatnot was and the the pay wasn't worth it um what i realized was life is way too fucking short for this shit Right. Facts. I think a lot of people realize. Yeah. That shit. So I had started the pod during the pandemic. Right. Mm -hmm. um, once outside started opening a little bit, like having to go to work. Right. Once that shit kind of happened, I was like, dude, if I'm going to work, I'm going to hoop outside against people. Right. You feel me? Like if, yeah, if I'm, so, I'm going to have to go live my normal life anyway, then I'm just going to live my normal life. Yep. So in the suburbs, some of the, some of the, uh, some of the courts were like getting regulated. Mm -hmm. I was going into the hood and playing full pickup games. They right? weren't regulating shit out there. Nah, bro. We was out there fucking hooping. Some yeah. of us in mass, some of us not, right? And then the league started and it was like an underground league started and we was hooping. And then one of the kids <laughs> that shit had fired nigga. Yeah, so we was in an underground league at nights on like Friday nights or something. Like no one's doing shit on Friday nights anyway. So we was and no one's doing shit at all. Yeah. And then I had to have surgery. Uh, close to Christmas time this past year, mm. right before. Uh, and I know COVID. it had to be crazy being in a hospital setting with the pandemic yeah, going on yeah, at, its, exactly. at its peak, at its height. Yeah, it was actually a couple of days before Thanksgiving. Is okay, when I had damn. So you're dead smack in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah, so it's like I had to go in there with a mask. And then once I got to the room, they took the mask off on me and everything. And I actually had surgery on my hernia that I had had for like 10 years. So I played all of college with a hernia. I was playing in all these adult <laughs> leagues with a hernia. Like my intestine, it's an inguinal in hernia. My intestine was literally in my nutsack. You could feel when I had, like, you could feel my intestine in my nutsack. Ooh. Like I've showed people it and be like, yo, like bitches, you feel me? I've been like, yo, I mean, we're, we've been dead for a while. Yeah. Like feel this shit. This shit's weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had this. surgery. You still, hey, you still fucking with me or not? <laughs> yeah, you still fucking with me? Like, but bruh, I mean, so look, bruh, the funny thing is when I had the surgery. That's a confident nigga be, right there. used to be inflamed and like be pushing out. So when I had the surgery and it brought back that, all that area around it, it was bringing it back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, oh shit, I didn't think that was going to happen with the hey, surgery. <laughs> hey, that nigga hey, had a gross for. Hey, what? A 29 year old. Get a ghost. I said, "What, boy? I didn't even need this shit." But praise to the law, nigga. Shit, hey. <laughs> wait, till old, wait till my old bitches see this. Hey, chill out. <laughs> Bruh, so, but I had that surgery and I couldn't play for like a month, month and a half. You know what I'm saying? It was a quick recovery, but uh, I got back and I was all right. Had a couple little twenty ball games. First game back, bro. Like you feel me? You're rejuvenated. I broke my nose. Yeah, I broke my nose. I don't know oh, if y'all can see. I got a scar right here. 
and my shit is a little That's fucked, fucked up. up. That yeah. nigga, it plays so, so dog, hard. I was nah, nigga reached on me for no reason. I was bringing up the rock, bro. He just reached and his shoulder clipped my shit. That Pat Bev, that Pat Bev, yeah, shit. Pat Bev type shit, bro. So fucking, I was playing with a mask, but yeah, man. The I, I was still hooping, doing what I love, and I was just like, I'm getting a new job. If I'm if I'm if I'm if I'm gonna grow up, if I'm gonna glow up, I'm gonna glow all the way up. I'm going up different, bro. I, I found a new job, bro. Like something that's a lot better. You know what I'm saying? I wanted a better pay and I wanted better hours. Mm-hmm. Less, and, like, you, try and, to, and you got that. Yeah, exactly. And um, I always try to find, like, it's all about mental health, bro. And now that I got that back, I got that, I'm on that path and everything. And I, uh, my schedule's better. My mental health is better. I'm I'm in the groove back again with the pod. I'm playing basketball again, and like, yeah, that, that I, mental health. A lot of people don't understand that shit puts you in a in a mood to where you don't want to do shit. Not do shit, bro. And look, here's the thing: I eat pretty damn good. Like my 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 diet is. I'm a pescatarian. I eat a lot of fish and veggies and shit. And uh, the bad shit I eat is like sometimes fried, but like I eat chips, hot chips. I don't know why I can't leave them alone. That nigga sometimes. got a hot cheese. The nigga be on, you be on the Takis or the Cheetos? No, the hot fries and like the hot Cheeto oh, puffs and hot shit. Fritos and the hot munchies and you a freak, hot, bitch. hot Funyuns, <laughs> nigga. All that shit be fucking gas, boy. He went to the ratchet bitches at high school. Hey, all right, but I ain't eating that shit for breakfast. I ain't eating that shit for breakfast, though. It makes crazy. Look, I but it, so. Nigga, you my, wake up early. You probably smack a bag at 10 a.m., nigga. You been up since 6. That ain't that ain't breakfast. I <laughs> <laughs> had some pussy for breakfast. That ain't breakfast. Nah, I feel that. Hey, I feel. So look, um, but yeah, man, my diet's cool, bro. And like, I eat really good for the most part. Like, and I always have been like stayed in pretty good shape. My mental health of the way I was feeling from that job was not good. So I was starting to gain some weight, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. And it's not even like Ant got fat weight because I'm a skinny dude. Like, it was just like, you could tell he... They got stress weight on him. Yeah, you could kind of tell, like, got a little bit. So, like, that shit was gone, like, as soon as I left there. It's crazy. That's crazy yeah. how that shit worked, bro. Yeah. And, I mean, I, my point of it is, like, I was sitting on my ass and only doing calisthenics, not even not, not even running and shit. And I wasn't really gaining no weight. And then and I was hooping you, once a week, yep. twice a week. Wasn't gaining no weight. Had surgery where I couldn't move. Still ain't gaining shit. And I was high as shit off Oxycontin and shit. Had a dumbass <laughs> you munchies. Know, you know Ed wasn't turning them bitches down. <laughs> hey, y'all remember when I broke my foot and I used to be falling asleep watching y'all at practice, nigga. <laughs> they be nodding off. They, yeah, they lucky off. I don't have an addictive personality, bro, because I could enjoy being fucking pain-free and high, bro, without being like, oh, I need more. I was Gucci. I was once I had my last one. I was like, "Oh, bro, hope time, I never see. Time, hope I never kick, see time, you again." Time to kick this bottle. Time to yeah. kick this bitch. You know hope I, mean? I never see you fucking again, my G. Because like, I am tired of being hurt and needing these shits. So I didn't gain no weight then. But when I was working, bro, and I was like, "This shit's ass, man. What the fuck? My mental health was. I wasn't getting sleep, bro. I started gaining some weight. But now we back." Pandemic taught me that, like, just live your life to the fullest, man. Do what you want to do. Do what you need to do. I feel that. If you got out of the, if you did better during the pan- pandemic, uh, shout out to you. Uh, some people, it didn't, their mental health wasn't needed to get out of the pandemic doing better. Um, some people it was. Some people, their physical health got better in the pandemic. Some yep. people's just financial health got better during the pandemic. Whatever it was, if you got out, good shit. A lot of people didn't do better during it. Um, and that's it's not true. to say they weren't strong either. Um, situations happen. But that's what the pandemic taught me. No, that's real, my bro. My personal self. Uh, I, I want to I talk a little bit, man. You, you a diehard <laughs> Lakers fan. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Yeah. Real quick, real quick. I want to ask you. Can I get a question? I'm going to ask this real quick. And so I want you to, you know, tell the people, you know, that's new, you know, you new to our channel and everything, you know, might have you back in certain, so niggas going, you know, remember the shit that you say, remember yes, your sir. stances, who is your goat? 
Man, you see that boy right there in the back. There, oh, there's Kobe a couple Bryant. people back there, but there's two right there. There's 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 a there's the goat. There's a little baby goat right there. If anybody's listening, you hear me? You hear me? Ah, that nigga. Eh. We're, I'm speaking to you. If you're a goat, you understood what the fuck I just said. Cause up there, that's little baby goat. That's me. I'm a little <laughs> baby goat. I, I was Jalen. Her Jalen and Carlos understood what I said, but that's secret language. But that's my goat right there. Kobe Bryant and high bionics. So Kobe Bryant. Okay, tell, and, tell, tell them a little bit. Why, why do you believe Kobe's a goat? So uh, it's it's okay to have biased stances in sports, right? And my biased stance, I saw Kobe. I I, I grew up in LA, LA County. I'm from Santa Clarita. Um, I grew up watching him. Everybody gets a channel for their home sports team that they get to watch growing up. If you don't have the NBA package, you're watching. That's the only team you're watching other than like maybe once, twice a night. They they come on the local, local channels. Exactly. So Kobe Bryant was my goat because I watched him almost every night. The things that man was doing 54 and three quarters type shit and didn't even play the fourth against the Mavs. He was up against them. He was up against them in a blowout game. (laughs) We had like 70, 80, like the, the shit I've seen that man do is like skill wise is unreal. Right. And there's some players in the league now that I wish I got to see more like that. I stream them sometimes and I'll watch them when they're on. But like, there's some guys in the league that I say to myself, like, damn, I only get to see so much of them. I wish I, I wish I had time mm-hmm. to watch them more. One. Give me, give me one of those guys. Give me one of those guys real quick. Oh, Kyrie. I wish okay. I got to watch more of Kyrie. Like, cause definitely, man- Ky- Ky- Kyrie puts on a. Uh, Ky- Kyrie's like watching Kyrie play basketball is like getting getting to watch Van Gogh paint. Yes, bro. He he's he's like there's there's certain people. KD is one of them. There's certain people that are in a different class of the way they paint. You they have an saying? artistry to their game. Yeah, they, they paint different. KD's a paint. He paints different. Even LeBron paints different. Being a Lakers fan when LeBron came to the Lakers, while I wasn't in love, I knew what was coming with that. The yeah. greatest player. Yeah. One of the greatest players. You know what I'm saying? And so with bias, you know what I'm saying? I said, Kobe's my GOAT. When I take bias out of it, I say, there's three people. I don't give a fuck what you do with your one, two, and three, or I should say your A, B, and C of one. It's one A, B, or C. I don't care what you do. The way you should look at this is skill-wise, dominance, what they accomplished, all of it. This should be your top three, as in one A, B, and C. <clears throat> and it's Kobe, Jordan, and LeBron. I don't care which order you have it in. Most hoop heads Kobe that three. really okay. know, most hoop heads that you really know should have should have this. There's a reason why all the guys. Yeah, what you got? Hold on, what you got? Played against top three. Them, say this, bro. Kobe's not in my top three, but I respect Kobe, so I'm not gonna say nothing bad about Kobe. But it's Kobe to me, top LeBron five. And Mike, uh, Kobe is like six or seven for me. Who you okay. got over Kobe? Real quick, give, 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 us your top, give us your top six, Jay. <laughs> I think that no order. LeBron and Jordan. Um, I'm gonna throw Kareem in there. And then, See, I have Kareem at four. Tough. I have Kareem at four. Who do you have? It. Who do you? You got Kareem at four. So yeah, I got Kareem there. Obviously, for all the shit he's done. Uh, I mean, and then right after that is where I could slide in Kobe if I wanted to. It gets down to like because you can. I think you can slide Kobe in over Larry Bird. Uh, it's you like, yeah, should Kobe, have him I over Larry it. Bird. I, I do. I'm just my saying. Thing, I think my thing about Kobe that gets overlooked a lot is like people will talk about MVPs and that's cool. The thing about Kobe that I think gets looked a lot, overlooked a lot is this man is the most all time defense teams. Yeah. This man yeah, has like 12 nine. All NBA okay, nine. Nine defense first teams. First team, I thought he had 12 or 13. Yeah, and I think he has something like four or five second Mm -hmm. teams. Yeah. Like, 
hold on, bro. You're telling me that this man was not only getting it in on offense, but he's out there guarding the best players and shutting them down, and he's on first team. Like, no help defense shit either. No, he, a lot of people that wing. a lot of people that a lot of the players that people will put in their top twenty fives and top fifteens and top tens and all that will only really account for the offensive side. That's true for the most part. So. The only person, so I, I'm cool with putting Kobe ahead of Larry Bird for sure. Kareem's not um, one of those. Kareem, some people Kareem argue. is a defensive, was a defensive. Yeah, presence. Kareem is just, it's just tough. Like Kareem, Kareem is, Kareem is Kareem, bro. So Kareem's stats, Kareem stats, bro, gonna have, it's just like. But, but, but. Do I can't you get believe, mad at that. Do you believe that Kobe was better than Shaq? Yes. Ooh. It's tough. Like, it minute, I, it's tough. It took you a minute, though. Yes, though. Shaq, I do believe Shaq it. A dog. I do believe it, though. Shaq let himself go, and that's that's his fault. Shaq could have been better, but he didn't He didn't allow himself to be better. But, but Shaq true, only he, gave so Shaq much. Shaq was unstoppable. Shaq was unstoppable. He was unstoppable, but a lot of people, you can't just plug any player from that time era into that team and say that they're winning. That's facts because Shaq couldn't win with Penny. Shaq didn't win with Penny. They could have won though. They were on their way to winning. And they could have had beef. You could say that you on, could on say that Kobe shit. with Shaq would have that magic team. Kobe, you could say Kobe with Shaq with that magic team wins. I think Kobe and Shaq yeah, Kobe, on any Kobe, team Kobe, in that Shaq era could, wins. Kobe and Shaq could have ran it up a couple more times if they wasn't beefing. Facts. <laughs> like they, they was a they was an unstoppable force. And like we've seen we've seen a we've seen a couple uh, unstoppable forces, and those that was one of them. By Kobe's, the reason why they were beefing was because Kobe was so damn good, and yeah, he was, was demanding like a, more of Shaq. Yeah, Sha- they Shaq. Well, they ta- they definitely. talked about it. Kobe was demanding more of Shaq, saying, "Come on, bro, you're better than this." Well, like, it's because Co- Kobe was talking to Shaq like it was a Jordan Pippen, but Shaq was better than Pippen ever would be. Yeah. So Shaq was, that, and that was the difference. Kobe had that done mentality. their little. Uh, they've done their and little. They, interview they where they talked little. about it yeah they've done their interview where they talked about it and Shaq was like yeah I came in out of shape because I'm like I got this nigga right here <laughs> like yeah facts I I have and then they, they, this the, the off the court shit didn't help they, they they didn't have them off the court issues I think they could have made it through their on the court issues but that off the court shit just that yeah yeah, yeah. They're, they're I, yeah you can't you can't you can't be in the same like they, just, with they it, lost with they it. lost respect for each other that was when they fucked up when they lost respect for each other yeah, at one point they just lost respect. They lost them. respect, but yeah, like Shaq literally would come in out of shape every season and say, "I have him. I don't like y'all. Don't understand." Facts. I want to. I wanted to ask Ant real quick. Uh, who, you know, what I'm saying we got the NBA Finals coming up. I know Ant's a huge Chris Paul fan, so we want to get in real quick. Who you who you got for the NBA Finals, and what what's some of the key matchups? Oh man, I got, I got the Suns, bro. Like Suns in how many? In how many games? I don't give a fuck if it take five, six, seven. <laughs> I need Chris Paul to get one, man. I'm just a huge Chris Paul guy. We're very loud about it on Twitter. The point um, guard. So okay, yeah. Chris Paul gets this one. Where does he rank it as far as point guards all time? If he if he gets this one and wins Finals MVP. Oh, and wins the Finals MVP. See, if he does that, let me preface by saying. If you take all stats away and you got to pick a point guard, you don't know who's going to be on your team. Chris Paul is second on my list. That's fair. Magic's first. That's fair. So now add everything in, all of that shit, right? Because Chris Paul is like a five or six time all defensive team point guard, first yeah. team. Like, led the league in steals like eight, nine he's years. He's little, but he's getting in. Like, he was guarding KD when the Clippers played the Thunder one year. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, Chris Paul, yeah, Chris Paul gets it in <laughs> on defense. He does his shit. So I go Magic one, Steph two. Steph's accomplishments by default put him there, right? And the fact that he's the greatest shooter of all time. Yeah, he's the greatest shooter of all time. But if I had to pick a, one of the two in a team that I don't know, I'm picking Chris Paul. I think he's going to give us the best shot. Like, okay. So you take it. So, so you taking Chris Paul over Steph? In the setting that I just said, yeah. In the setting I just said, 
Now there's a few teams where no, I'm putting, I'm picking Steph on these teams because they don't need a Chris Paul type player. Like a LeBron James team doesn't need a Chris Paul type player. But you saying and they, if you if you don't know what the team got and you like yeah, you yeah, Steph yeah, or Chris Paul with you, you're gonna be like, come on, CP. Yeah. I That's think right. I got a I got better chances of whatever comes falls in place for me with CP still. I think he'll get us the best. So if Chris Paul wins this championship, do, would you rank him higher than Isaiah Thomas? Yes, he's my third. Wow. There we go. There we go. Jay, what you think? I got Steph. I mean, I got I got Chris Paul five right now. If he wins this title, he moves up to four. Uh, that's why I got him. Okay, fair enough. Wait, who's fair your enough. fourth? Who, which right now, Oscar? Yeah. Oh, you got Oscar above him. Yeah. Oscar got a chip, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, two. One. He got one. He, he got, got one with the Bucks. He got one with the Bucks. He got one chip, I believe. Yep. He no, was a point guard. He was yeah, a point guard. Got... But no, I, I, I the original, original triple double. double. Original triple doubles. And, you know, this is the Stoner Sports Network. We do smoke, chill, talk about shit, bro. So, I just real quickly, I want to know, what is your favorite strain and what's your what's your preferred way of smoking? My favorite strain, it's got to be, like, something OG. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Something OG, bro. Uh, I always smoke out of papers. Always. Yeah, and you you always been a paper guy. Papers, papers, papers. Man, I got the bong in here. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got the little oil pen that I be I be hitting if I need to bring that somewhere. But papers preferred. For sure. Papers You've always preferred. been the papers guy. Always been the papers guy. It's been like 10 years now. And like the story behind why I became a papers guy is because my sophomore year, going into my sophomore year, <clears throat> my coach who was an asshole he resigned recently from Santa Barbara City College he, he suspended me with no practice going into my sophomore year because I needed an ad code the first day of school like I was on a waiting list to get into the class and I needed mm -hmm. an ad code he was saying trying to set a point to everybody that I should have been prepared but it's like I'm paying myself through this right like, but the reason why I started smoking papers was because that day when I went home, I was at the time smoking like, like eight, nine blunts a day, blunts, right? I'm like, damn, nigga, I'm smoking a lot of blunts, bro. If I'm not going to be practicing with these niggas every day, I got to be in shape. So I just started smoking, smoking uh, papers, right? Papers and bong only, playing pickup. I came back in the spring. Most in shape person in the spring. He was ready. I was ready. I ran a, I ran like a 11, 11 30 mile, um, something, two, two mile, two mile. Damn. Summer. Yeah, summer. I ran like an 11 30 Damn. mile. My coach didn't believe it. I had a class, bro, that went five minutes into, like five or 10 minutes into practice sometimes, right? So I usually got out early, but this time I didn't. So I'm showing up like at 215, 220 now, right? I went and got ready real quick, showing up 215, 220. And, and I get there and they're all walking back. And coach is like, well, you got to, you got to, Maharm, stay with him. He's got to run that two miles. I came back in and coach was like, what are you doing back? I'm like, I'm done. They get it was all that fucking I'm done. Iron Maharm Man comes shit. walking in and Hodges is like, he finished? And Maharm's like, yeah. It's like, what was the time? And he's like, uh, like 1130. I'm like, yeah. Let's the get papers, practice. nigga. Let's get practice. They was still, bro, they was still like just getting ready, like stretching together <laughs> on the team and shit. And I came and you, you was ready to practice. Like, I you, came like, you running just, back in and sat crazy. in the circle with them and started stretching and shit. Like I didn't miss shit. Nah, facts, bro. Hey, I, my nigga Jay been on the papers heavy lately too. So yes, sir. He can attest yes, to that. He been he been hooping quite frequently. And I know your lungs feeling like right, Jalen. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a difference with the papers, bro. Like when I don't smoke a paper, it, I can definitely tell the difference. Man, and bro, it's been a fucking pleasure to have you on today, man. We, uh, the conversation was was more than I expected, man. This shit was awesome, bro, for real. And I and yes, we appreciate sir. you. Yes, sir. My yeah, we had a great really, time. We had a great time. I really appreciate y'all uh, hopping. Let me hop on this shit, man. Like it is definitely, definitely awesome to get on y'all shit, bro. This is like the, my first ever like 
interview that I've been interviewed type shit, bro. Like, that shit's awesome. Bro, bro we really appreciate you, uh, you know, coming on, bro. And uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in, man. And yes, just sir. like that, it's been another one with your boys here on Stoner Sports Network, hey, man. Hey, and, and, and we say we out. So just like that, we, we out. out. We out. We out. We out.